Learn German Games. Dir fehlt außerdem der richtige Duft. She's missing the right smell. What does that mean? Warte auf die Flut. Wait for the tide or flood. But here from context we know that he means tide. Now notice in German how when you wait for someone, you actually wait on someone. Warte auf die Flut. Die Flut? The flood, correct. Hello and welcome to LearnGermanGames.com, the only place where you learn German with games live. Now, if you're not watching this live, make sure to subscribe and click that bell button to get notified whenever we go live again, because learning live is a lot more fun. You get to send us your messages in the live chat, ask your questions, and influence the video yourself. In addition to that, you have real-time subtitles to help you follow even if your German is not that good yet. German is in yellow and English is in blue. Knowing that, let's start. Last okay, time we were talking to this crazy person here and maybe trick him a little bit. Let's see. Hmm? Wollen Sie damit sagen, dass ich schlecht rieche? Aber Kind, nein! Du riechst nach Geburtstagstorte und flauschigen Wolken. Mit einem Hauch frischer Pin hier. Aber das ist einfach nicht die Art Aroma, die den großen Fisch anzieht. Sprich mit deiner Großmutter. Ich bin sicher, sie hat ein Duftrezept, das sie mit dir teilen wird. Okay, schön vorsichtig. Alright, nice and easy. Notice the use of schön here, that literally means beautiful. But here it's used as an intensifier. Just like in English when you say nice and easy, you don't literally mean nice. You can think of it as really carefully or quite carefully vorsichtig is careful or cautious remember especially if you're a beginner that the v in german most of the time is pronounced like an f ja so vorsichtig genau so exactly like this not the same so in german oftentimes means like this exactly like this nein 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 nicht so no, 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 not like that. In German, don't worry about this and that. There isn't much of a difference, you know, from context, unlike English. Yeah, distance doesn't matter. So this is why uh, here before we said like this, here like that. It doesn't really matter in German. Ruhig, quiet or quietly, if you want to be uh, grammatically accurate. Have a kind? Nein. But child? No. If you're new to learn German games, notice that the colors here help you remember the genders of words. In German, all nouns have grammatical gender. A child is neuter. This is why you see it in orange here. Das Kind. Du riechst nach Geburtstagstorte und flauschigen Wolken. You smell like birthday cake and fluffy clouds. Also die Geburtstagstorte. Literally birth, Geburt. And then you have the possessive S, just like in English, but without the apostrophe. Tag, literally birthday. Torte is a cake. So birthday, cake. And this is a feminine noun. This is why we colored the E here at the end. In red, most words that end, uh, most nouns, I should say, that end with E in German are feminine. Also die Geburtstagstorte. And don't be afraid of long German words. You can always cut them up. Yeah. So if you're not sure how to cut up a word, look it up in a dictionary. The other thing that uh, you need to notice here is that in German, you smell towards something. Nach. In English, you smell like something. In German, you smell towards. The way you remember that is think of a smell as something going through the air. Yeah, it's moving in a certain direction. And this is why it says in German, nach. Because it's like vague, yeah, it doesn't have uh, an exact uh, direction if you want or an exact position. This is why you say, uh, du riechst nach. The verb here is riechen, to smell in this case. Riechen, as in somebody smells like something. It's conjugated with the informal, you, du riechst. This is why it takes an ST. You can see it here on the bottom left. The ST are uh, highlighted in white to help you remember conjugation. Und flauschigen Wolken. Flauschig is fluffy. Uh, but we have an EN here at the end because in this case, Wolken, which is cloud, is in plural. You can see it from the N after. Wolke, 
Yeah, so the EN is because of the plural in the dative case. We know it's dative because NAH always takes the dative. And if you still don't know that, you can know it from the colors as well. My videos always have colors to help you remember things and to see many, many, many examples and to really master grammar because knowing grammar is not just about knowing the rules. You need to be able to instantaneously recognize them in every sentence. And this is why we go through them all here. Many examples will help your brain find the pattern better. Mit einem Hauch frische Kinia. With a touch of fresh pine. He doesn't mean literally touch, he means with a bit of. Yeah, just like in English, we don't mean literal touch. So Hauch means touch in the figurative sense. Uh, but here, let's uh, call it a hint. Mit einem Hauch frischer Pinia. The pina is a pine. So he's giving her advice about how to smell better. I'm pretty sure he doesn't smell that uh, good either. <laughs> Aber das ist einfach nicht die Art Aroma, die den großen Fisch anzieht. But that's not the kind of flavor that attracts the big fish. Anziehen, in this case, it means to attract. So an gives it a direction. Because you're pulling something towards a certain direction, you are attracting it. They're trying to attract this monster, Mok Chatra. If you still don't know the story, go back and watch the whole playlist of Broken Age on the Learn German Games channel. It's a funny, crazy game. Yeah. Also, aber das ist einfach nicht die Art. Remember that Art is a false friend. It doesn't mean art. It means kind. The Art, the kind of aroma. And also be careful with the sound of the A ah here. It doesn't sound like in English. In English, the A is a bit closed. You say art. Yeah. In German, it's more of an open A, ah, like when you go to a dentist and the dentist says, uh, open your mouth wide. A. Ah. So open it from the outside here and the inside. You say art aroma. So we have the A's here for you to practice with. Yeah. Die den großen Fisch anzieht. Die is referring to the kind of aroma, and this is why we say die, because art is feminine. Sprich mit deiner Großmutter. Ich bin sicher, sie hat ein Duftrezept, das sie mit dir teilen wird. Talk to your grandmother. I'm sure she has a scent recipe she'll share with you. Ich bin sicher, I am sure, sie, so he's referring to the grandmother, die Großmutter, but here we have an ER, after diner, because mit always takes the data, you can see just like nach, it's green and underlined to tell you it's always the case that it comes uh, with the dative after it. So whenever you have a feminine noun and the dative, it takes an er here. Ich bin sicher, sie hat ein Duftrezept, so smell, recipe, just like a puzzle. German words are just like a puzzle. Das sie mit dir, so you and the dative becomes dir. Teilen wird. Teilen is to share. This is the name of a button you will see in a lot of apps. If you use them in German, if you want to share a picture, share a message, this is the verb you say. Ja, teilen. Hey, wegen Ihrem Eimerhut. Was? Was ist damit? Kann ich ihn haben? Auf keinen Fall. Er ist fester Teil meiner zukünftigen Ausstattung als Bürgermeister. Hey, wegen ihrem Eimerhut. Hey, about your bucket hat. Eimer, bucket, hut, hat. And wegen in spoken German takes the dative. This is why we have ihre. She's using the formal term for you in the dative case. Was? Was ist damit? What? What about it? Literally, that with. What is that with? That's how you say what about it. Was ist damit? Also, make sure not to pronounce it like damn it. Yeah, it's a different word. Damit. So the emphasis is on the I. Yeah, damit. Auf keinen Fall. No way. Literally. On no case. Der Fall is a case. This is how you say no way. As in, in no case will I be doing that. He doesn't want to share his um, stupid bucket hat. Er ist fester Teil meiner zukünftigen Ausstattung als Bürgermeister. It is an integral part of my future equipment as mayor. Zukünftig 
is the adjective for future und Ausstattung is equipment. Der Bürgermeister is mayor. You can see here the endings to help you remember the genders. Yeah, you and G most of the time is for feminine, the Ausstattung. Und Bürgermeister is easy because you know it's a guy, but it's also because it ends with ER. Yeah, fest means firm or fixed. You know, a part that you cannot remove of my future equipment. Noch einmal. Hey, wegen Ihrem Eimerhut. Was? Was ist damit? Kann ich ihn bitte haben? Ich mag deine Manieren, aber meinen Hut mag ich noch mehr. <laughs> Kann ich ihn bitte haben? Can I please have it? Here she's referring to the bucket. Ja, der Eimer. Kann ich ihn, and this is how you refer to a masculine noun and the accusative case. Can I please have it? Ich mag deine Manieren, aber meinen Hut mag ich noch mehr. So I like your manners. Die Manier is a matter. In this case, it's um, in the plural. Aber meinen Hut, he started with the accusative, as in with the object of the sentence. Der Hut, this is why we have meinen Hut. Mag ich, the subject comes after the verb. Because remember that in the main clause, the verb in German comes in the second position. Yeah. Aber is in 3D part of the sentence. It's just a conjunction. Which means it links to completely independent parts uh, of what you're trying to say. Meinen Hut mag ich noch mehr. But I like my hat even more. Noch einmal. <laughs> hey, wegen Ihrem Eimerhut. Was? Was ist damit? Macht sich toll an ihm. Sehr schick. Was? Schick? Aber ich bin ein Mann des Volkes. Ich werde diese Wahl nie gewinnen, wenn ich hochnäsig und elitär wirke. Hier, nimm mir das ab. Vielen Dank, Kind. Morgen werde ich meinen Stylisten feuern. Macht sich toll an Ihnen. Sehr schick. Looks great on you. Very schick. It literally makes itself great on you. As in, it looks good when you put it on. Was schick? Aber ich bin ein Mann des Volkes. Notice here the genitive, which means like the possessive. Ja, des Volkes means of the people. Das Volk, the people. What? Schick or fancy, but, but I'm a man of the people. Ich werde diese Wahlen nie gewinnen, wenn ich hochnäsig und elitär werke. I will never win these elections by appearing stock up and elitist. Also die Wahlen is the plural of die Wahl. Which means, in this case, the elections. Die Wahlen. Nie gewinnen. Gewinnen means to win. The G in the beginning is part of the verb. Yeah, it's not conjugated. Wenn ich hochnäsig, literally high nose. You know, somebody walking like that with their nose high. They're stuck up or conceited. Yeah. Wenn ich hochnäsig. Und elitär sounds just like the English elitist. It's just uh, has a few different letters. The last word is a um, it's a verb werken to have an effect. Yeah. So he doesn't want to wear it because it has an effect of an elitist on him. Here, nimm mir das ab. Here, take this off me. The verb here is abnehmen. Literally, take off. It's just that in German, sometimes you put uh, the part that you generally put at the end in English, the off part. Sometimes you put it in the beginning, especially if you look up the verb in the dictionary. That's the case. Vielen Dank, Kind. Morgen werde ich meinen Stylisten feuern. Thank you very much, child. Tomorrow I will fire my stylist. So feuern to fire. All right, we have gathered 24 words in the vocabulary list. Let's practice them. We start with matching of words, super simple exercise here. If you're following us on chat, send us your answers. Just send the numbers on the left corresponding to the ones on the right. The left column is in German, the right one is in English. We saw all these today and don't be afraid to make mistakes. And if you're not watching this live, make sure to subscribe to the Learn German Games channel. To be able to follow us next time live, you learn a lot more when it's live. You just have more fun. It's much more exciting to be part of the show. The art um, is kind. 
Die Art, the kind. Uh, die Geburtstagstorte, the birthday cake. Die Geburtstagstorte, the birthday cake. Riechen, to smell. Riechen, to smell. Riechen. Vorsichtig, cautious. Vorsichtig, cautious. Der Hauch ist der Hand. Der Hauch, der Hand. Flauschig. Floppy. Flauschig, <laughs> floppy, best word ever. Der Fall, the case. Der Fall, the case. Die Pinie, uh, the pine. Die Pinia, the pine. Oh. Pinia, Pinia. Thailand is to share. Thailand to share. Und anziehen, in this case, to attract. Same exercise now with short sentences. Some of them are from the game and some of them are just generally useful for you to learn every day. They're very useful for you to actually use. If you're a beginner in German, try to at least repeat some of the short ones here. Yeah, you will get used to them. They'll become easier with time. Das nervt. What's annoying? <laughs> das nervt. That's annoying. Susan in chat says 115. Kannst du uns was empfehlen? Can you recommend us something? Sehr gut, Susan. Ich kann es kaum erwarten. I can hardly wait. Ich kann es kaum erwarten. I can hardly wait. Hier, yeah, nimm mir das ab. Here, take this off me. Ja, yeah, nimm mir das ab. Here, take this off me. Leider weiß ich das nicht. Unfortunately, yeah. I don't know that. Leider weiß ich das nicht. Unfortunately, I don't know that. I Apparently, you do know that. <laughs> ich, ich habe es repariert. I fixed it. Ich habe es repariert. I fixed it. Herzlichen Glückwunsch. Congratulations. Susan Chat says 720. Du gehst nirgendwo hin. You're not going anywhere. And Kimberly says, was sagst du dazu? Um, what do you say to that? Und was hast du heute vor? What do you have planned for today? Sehr gut. Fill in the blanks. These are sentences we just saw 10 minutes ago. Hopefully you still remember what's missing here in the blanks. Uh, remember that the word that appears in the blank doesn't appear exactly the way you see it here. If it's plural, you have to add the plural. If it's a verb, you have to conjugate it. Aber das ist einfach nicht die etwas Aroma, die den großen Fisch anzieht. Uh, art? Ja. Aber das ist einfach nicht die Art Aroma, die den großen Fisch anzieht. But that's just not the kind of flavor that attracts the big fish. Okay, schön. This is the potential mayor saying this. We heard this in the beginning. He's telling somebody trying to lower some kind of... Uh, um, vorsichtig. Schön vorsichtig. Nice and easy. Carefully. Auf keinen... Um, no way. The that's number a common pronounced one. Fall with an open A. It's not a fall. Yeah, it's an A. Fall. Was schick, aber ich bin ein Mann des Volkes. Volkes, genau. I'm a man of the people. That's a politician. What? Schick, fancy, but I'm a man of the people. Du etwas nach Geburtstagstorte und flausigen Wolken. Riechst. Du riechst. Ja, oder ein SD, because of du. Du riechst nach Geburtstagstorte und flauschigen Wolken. You smell like birthday cake and fluffy clouds. Flashcards, how do you say to share in German? We saw this today. Thailand. Thailand, that's the button you can see in apps in German to share something. Thailand. The kind. The art. The art. To smell. Riechen. Riechen. Cautious. Vorsichtig. Vorsichtig. Make sure to emphasize the prefix here. Yeah. So stretch the O Vorsichtig. instead of the I. Yeah. 
Vorsichtig. Vorsichtig. Was ist das hier? Die Geburtstagstorte. Genau, die Geburtstagstorte. Und das hier? Die Pinia. Die Pinia, sehr gut. The case. Der Fall. Der Fall. Auf keinen Fall. To attract. Or to lure. Anziehen. 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 Sehr gut. The hint or the touch of something. Der Hauch. Der Hauch, sehr gut. Das ist a new word for you. Fluffy. Lauschig. Lauschig, <lacht> ja. All right, let's order some words. These are also sentences we saw in the game, but now the challenge is to give them an order that makes sense. The same one we just saw in the game. I know that German word order can be confusing if you're comparing it to English, but in the long run, you'll see that it makes much more sense and it's more logical. Er ist feste Teil meiner Ausstattung Zukünftigen. Ah, zu, zukünftigen, ja. Danke. Als Bürgermeister. Sehr gut, Christopher and Kimberly. Er ist fester Teil meiner zukünftigen Ausstattung als Bürgermeister. It is an integral part of my future equipment as mayor. Exersatz. Nein, nein, nein. First nine goes first. Nein, nein, nein. Nicht so. Nicht so, not like that. Ah, oh, you missed up those two middle nines. <laughs> <laughs> Kann ich ihn bitte haben? Kann ich ihn bitte haben? Can I please have it? He's referring to the hat. Der Hut. Hier. Nimm. Mir das ab. Genau, hier. Nimm mir das ab. Here, take this off me. Sehr gut gemacht. Und jetzt spielen wir weiter. Ich muss beim Meidenmal mitmachen. Kind, so wie es aussieht, gibt es vielleicht gar kein Meidenmal. <lacht> Dir fehlt außerdem der richtige Duft. Ich muss beim Meidenmal mitmachen. I have to join or participate in the Maidens Feast. We saw this last time. Hopefully you still remember some of it. Mitmachen, Natalie. With, make, or do, which means to join, to participate. Kind, so wie es aussieht, gibt es vielleicht gar kein Maidenmal. Child, from the looks of it, or the way it's looking, there may be no Maiden's Feast at all. Remember to watch the previous videos of Broken Age on Learn German Games to know what we're talking about here. This is referring to the beginning of the game. Der fehlt außerdem der richtige Ruf. Außerdem means also und Duft is scent, der Duft. You also lack the right scent. Notice how the verb fehlen, to have something that is lacking, takes a dative case. So to you, this is what is missing. To you, lacks, dir fehlt. Haben Sie eben gesagt, es gibt vielleicht kein Meidenmal? Ich sehe, sie ist wütend heute. Ich versuche die Opferarena zu bauen, aber die Wellen spülen sie immer davon. Haben Sie eben gesagt, es gibt vielleicht kein Maidenmal? Did you just say there might not be a Maidens Feast? Eben here is referring to time, as in just now, just a moment ago. Die See ist wütend heute. The sea, it is angry today. It's a bit confusing, you're seeing here. The C in blue, it's actually die C in this case to mean C. This is one of those few German words that change meaning depending on the gender. But it's not that hard to remember that here it's actually feminine because uh, der C is a lake. And if you put a lot of lakes together, you'll have enough water to form a C. You have D for plural. And this is why when you have a lot of lakes, they become a C. This is how you remember that die C uh, means C. It's also a hint for you that um, he says Z is, so he's referring to the C here. Hopefully in a few months when I have a bit more time, I'll upgrade my app here to make it 
more sentence aware and color these few words appropriately depending on context. Wütend, angry. Ich versuche die Opferarena zu bauen, aber die Wellen spülen sie immer davon. I'm trying to build the sacrificial arena, but the waves always wash it away. Versuchen is to try. Remember that the V is pronounced like a F. Yeah. Versuchen. Ich versuche. Opfer is a sacrifice or a victim. In this case, it's a sacrifice. Bauen is to build. Die Wellen is the plural of die Welle, the wave. Spülen. Notice how I'm pronouncing the S because it comes before a P is pronounced like Sch. Spülen. In this case, spülen means to uh, wash, as in wash away. Yeah, spülen. Davon is the away part. Die Wellen spülen sie. Sie is referring to the arena. So I'm trying to build the sacrificial arena, but the waves always wash it away. He's talking about the arena they're gonna use to sacrifice these girls. Es muss ein Meidenmal geben. Ich muss Mok Chotra erlegen. Ja, ja. Wir alle wollen Mok Chotra verpflegen. Aber wenn er hierher kommt und keine Opferarena sieht, zieht er vielleicht einfach weiter. Oder noch Schlimmeres. Es muss ein Meidenmal geben. Ich muss Mok Chotra erlegen. There must be a maiden's feast. I must slay Mok Chotra. Erlegen is to shoot or in this case to slay. Ja, ja, wir alle wollen Mok Chotra verpflegen. So they use the bit of a rhyme here. Verpflegen means to feed. So she wants to kill him and he wants to feed him. Ja, ja, <laughs> we all want to feed Mok Chotra. Verpflegen. Aber wenn er hierher kommt und keine Opferarena sieht, zieht er vielleicht einfach weiter. But if he comes here and doesn't see a sacrificial arena, he might just move on. You can see a separable verb here. Weiterziehen. The ziehen is in the beginning. Zieht er weiter. Oder doch Schlimmeres. Or worse. Schlimmeres here is an adjective turned into a noun. The adjective is schlimm, which is bad. So Schlimmeres is like saying a bad thing. The capital S and the S at the end makes it into a noun that in English would translate to a bad thing. Wieso bauen Sie die Opferarena so nah am Meer? Ähm, weil da der Sand ist. <laughs> Wieso bauen Sie die Opferarena so nah am Meer? Why are you building the sacrificial arena so close to the sea? Another word for sea that is less ambiguous. Das Meer. So maybe if you don't want to be misunderstood, use this one instead. Das Meer. Why are you building, bauen, we just saw it a bit before. The sacrificial arena, Opfer arena. So close. Na. Is close. To the sea. Mm, weil da der Sand ist. Der Sand, just like in English, sand, just uh, make sure to pronounce it correctly and with an open A. Because there is the sand there, literally there, the sand is sand. Und jetzt? Geht der Bau besser voran? Ja, der Sand zerfällt. Und ich gleich mit. Ich überlasse Sie besser wieder den Vorbereitungen. Ja, ja, diese Meiden opfern sich schließlich nicht von selbst. Und jetzt? Geht der Bau besser voran? And now is the construction progress better? Der Bau, we saw the verb before bauen, to build. Und der Bau is the noun version to mean construction. Is the construction progressing better? Uh, here the actual verb is vorangehen, which means to make progress. Geht voran. Der Sand zerfällt. Und ich gleich mit. The sand disintegrates, and so do I. Zerfallen is to disintegrate. Gleich mit, as in with it. The it is implied. Ich überlasse Sie besser wieder den Vorbereitungen. I better leave you to your preparations again. Die Vorbereitung, the preparation, the en makes it plural. Ja. Überlassen. 
is to leave something over. Ja, ja, diese Meiden opfern sich schließlich nicht von selbst. Sich opfern is to sacrifice oneself. So these uh, maidens do not sacrifice themselves. He wants to sacrifice them. Und schließlich means after all. Okay, versuchen wir es hier. Ja. Wir erkunden ein bisschen. Was gibt es denn hier? Äh, wer sind diese Leute? Hallo? Okay, zieh in langsam. Hi, macht die Meiden euch bereit für das Meidenmal? Sie sehen so komisch aus. Ähm... Ich will bei meinen mal mitmachen. Aber natürlich, du armes Ding. Muschelmeiden müssen sich aber zuerst langen Eignungsprüfungen unterziehen. Außerdem, unsere Väter sind einflussreich. Außerdem kann ich dir etwas sagen? Nur zwischen zwei Freundinnen. Oh mein Gott, ja! Nur zwischen zwei Freundinnen. Du riechst einfach nicht gut, Kleines. Oh, ich wünschte, ich hätte eine Freundin, die mir das sagen würde. Okay, versuchen wir es hier. Alright, let's try it here. The apostrophe S here stands for E. Ja, versuchen wir es hier in spoken German, just like in English and every language that is actually used in the world. People tend to shrink some words because they just uh, want to save time, maybe. Okay, zieh ihn langsam hoch. Remember to pronounce the Z sound like T S C. Yeah, zieh ihn langsam hoch. Okay, put it up slowly. The verb here is hochziehen. Up or high pull. Hi, macht er meiden euch bereit für das meiden mal? The verb here is bereit machen. Literally to ready make, which means to get ready. Are you maidens getting ready for the maidens feast? Macht ihr, she's referring to them as ihr because they are two. Whenever you have two or more uh, persons, you use ihr. Macht ihr meiden euch bereit? It's reflexive in this case. Dich bereit machen. This is why you have euch. It's the reflexive whenever you have plural you. Für das Meidenmal, for the Maidens Feast. Ich will beim Meidenmal mitmachen. I want to join or participate the Maidens Feast. Mitmachen, we just took that 15 minutes ago. Aber natürlich, du armes Ding. But of course, you poor thing. This is how you say of course in German. You say naturally, natürlich. Yeah. Du armes Ding, there's an S here. Because Ding, you can see from the orange, is neuter. Das Ding, the thing. Muschelmeiden müssen dich aber zuerst langen Eignungsprüfungen unterziehen. Shell maidens, however, must first undergo lengthy aptitude tests. Muschel as a shell müssen sich as part of the reflexive verb sich unterziehen, which means to undergo. Literally, uh, yourself under pull means undergo. Aber zuerst, first, langen Eignungsprüfung. Eignungsprüfung is an aptitude test. So, Eignung is aptitude. Prüfung is test. The S is the possessive, like genitive, yeah. And the EN at the end is because it's plural. Whenever you have a noun that ends with UNG, the plural ends with EN after the UNG. So, shell maidens, however, must first, zuerst, undergo lengthy aptitude tests. Außerdem, unsere Väter sind einflussreich. Außerdem, besides or in addition or also, our fathers are influential. Einflussreich. Außerdem, kann ich dir etwas sagen? Nur zwischen zwei Freundinnen. Besides or in addition, can I tell you something? Only between two girlfriends. Oh mein Gott, ja, nur zwischen zwei Freundinnen. Oh mein Gott, yes, just between two girlfriends. Du riechst einfach nicht gut, Kleines. You just don't smell good, little one. Kleines here as well as an adjective turned into a noun. This is why the K is capitalized and there's an S at the end. 
Och, ich wünschte, ich hätte eine Freundin, die mir das sagen würde. Oh, I wish I had a friend to tell me that. She's really lonely. She needs a girlfriend. And we have the conditional here. Ich hätte. Because I wish I had. She doesn't actually have, I guess. Uh, they don't uh, really like each other. I guess they're competing. They're not best friends. Die mir sagen würde. Remember that the verb sagen takes a date verb. That's why she said mir. And die here is referring to friend and girlfriend. Seid ihr beiden nervös? Ja, nervös darüber, dass Marshall June die Opferarena vielleicht nicht fertig bekommt, bevor Mark Chaudhry hier eintrifft. Ha! Ich kann nicht glauben, dass unsere Väter so viel zu seiner Kampagne beigesteuert haben. Fragt ihr euch denn nie, ob es nicht einen anderen Weg gibt? Um das Dorf zu retten, meine ich. Ähm, na, so ist das immer schon gewesen. Ja, wir haben sich schon vor langer Zeit darüber Gedanken gemacht, damit wir uns nicht mehr den Kopf zerbrechen müssen. Bis später, Maiden. Ciao! Perfekt. Sehen wir uns das mal an. Seid ihr Maiden nervös? Are you maidens nervous? Ja, nervös darüber, dass Marshall Dune die Opferarena vielleicht nicht fertig bekommt, bevor Mokchotra hier eintrifft. Fertig bekommen ist to get done. Eintreffen ist to arrive. Yes, nervous that Marshall Dune might not get the sacrifice arena done before Mokchotra gets here. Ach, ich kann nicht glauben, dass unsere Väter so viel zu seiner Kampagne beigesteuert haben. Beisteuern ist to contribute. Ach, I can't believe our fathers contributed so much to his campaign. Obviously criticizing political contributions here. Fragt ihr euch denn nie, ob es nicht einen anderen Weg gibt? Don't you ever wonder or ask yourself if there's another way? Again, she used T and E are here because she's talking to two people. Yeah. Um das Dorf zu retten, meine ich. To save the village, I mean. Na, so ist es immer schon gewesen. Well, it has always been like that. Ja, die haben sich schon vor langer Zeit darüber Gedanken gemacht, damit wir uns nicht mehr den Kopf zerbrechen müssen. Der Gedanke, the thought, und zerbrechen, to break. Yes, they thought about it a long time ago, so we don't have to worry about it anymore. Literally, die, she's referring uh, to the fathers, I guess. Die haben sich schon vor langer Zeit darüber Gedanken gemacht, literally about it. Thoughts make. When you make thoughts about something, it means you're thinking about it. Damit, so that we uns zerbrechen, ourselves break, as in break our head, den Kopf. Bis später, Maiden. See you later, Maidens. And that was our game for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you've learned something while having fun. Remember to like this video. And if you still have any questions or you want to practice your German a bit, Make sure to write all this in the comments below.